the world will focus on your failures and ignore your successes. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in today, with social media making it easier and easier to spread negativity. So whenever we get a prediction wrong, trust me, we hear our fair share of internet basement dwellers in the comments. But when our predictions are correct, damn does it feel good to prove people wrong. I'm Hassan Khan of Time to Football, and here are 10 players we were right about in 2021. Number 10, Dalton Schultz. In 2021, Schultz had himself a career season. We were correct in predicting that Schultz would emerge as a starting tight end over Blake Jarwin, whereas many other outlets like ESPN had Jarwin taking charge as a Cowboys top tight end. I mean, it just didn't make any sense why Schultz wouldn't be the starter. He was good in 2020, so that means he's going back to being a second string? But people thought that was the case. However, we can all now agree that it's Dalton Schultz's job moving forward. Number 9, Debo Samuel. Now, Samuel is only number 9 on this list because we predicted a much better season out of him than what other people predicted. We didn't know that he was going to go harder than Urban Meyer in a bar. We predicted that Samuel would have a better season than Brandon Ayuk when everyone else was convinced that Ayuk would have a better season. It's as if Debo's injuries in 2020 was supposed to be the passing of the torch to Ayuk, but anyone that watched Samuel's 2019 season would have known that he is something special. Number 8, Julio Jones. I remember the mockery the NFL community made of the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, besides that, I'm talking about when Julio Jones was traded for his second round pick. Looking back, that ended up being a victory for the Falcons. Jones has dealt with injuries in 2021. But even in the games that he's played, he averaged less than 50 yards per game. We predicted a disappointing season for Jones, mainly because of common sense. Derrick Henry is the focal point of the offense, so majority of snaps will go to him. A.J. Brown will be the number one target because of Julio's age and first year in the offense. Context clues, my friends. Number 7, Saquon Barkley. It's not that I think Saquon is bad, but the Giants offense has hurt his value. If I had to stick my neck out there, I'd say the passing offense was the worst in the league in 2021. Offseason reports detailed how Devontae Booker would have a pivotal role to ease the workload of Barkley, but many people still dubbed Barkley to have a season similar to his rookie year. We had very little hope for Barkley in a bad offense and in a timeshare, but others bought the hype over anything else. Number 6, Mike Williams. I'm aware that Mike Williams started off hot and didn't do much afterwards, like some people, but he still finished the regular season similar to our projections. We knew a breakout was bound to happen with offseason reports detailing that offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi was making it a point to feature Williams in the offense. In fantasy football terms, he finished as the wide receiver 16. Our preseason projection had him as the wide receiver 18, just two spots off. ESPN projected him to be the wide receiver 51. Oof. Number 5, T. Higgins. The Bengals' offense as a whole has been wonderful, and it's really a pick your poison on who you want to stop Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, or T. Higgins. For Higgins, he finished the season with 74 receptions, 1,091 yards, and 6 touchdowns, which is eerily similar to the 75 receptions, 1,170 yards, and 6 touchdown season we predicted. In fantasy football terms, he finished as the wide receiver 18. We predicted him to be the wide receiver 16. ESPN said he would be the wide receiver 28. Number 4, DeAndre Swift. You might see this and be like, really? People really doubted Swift? Believe it or not, people said Swift would have a down year, with Jamal Williams being signed and the Lions having a bad offense. But homies would praise Travis Etienne so much more than Swift, even though he's part of a committee and part of a bad offense, much like Swift. In fantasy football jargon, we predicted him to be the running back 6 for the season. Prior to his injury, he in fact was the RB6. ESPN had him as the RB20. Number 3, Jalen Hurts. Now we specifically said that Hurts was not going to be a prolific passer in 2021, but instead a superstar in fantasy football. We looked at the 4 games he started in 2020 to determine that his rushing would be the reason he'd finish as a top 5 quarterback. And as we predicted, Hertz relied on his legs for his success. He barely missed the top 5 due to missing a game with an injury, but given that we were all in on Hertz this year and other sites had projected nothing much out of him, we gotta give ourselves a pat on the back. 
Good job, me. Number 2. Evan McPherson When the world had no idea who McPherson was, we said that he was going to be the next Justin Tucker. It's a bold statement for sure, but he's been deadly accurate, especially from 50 yards and beyond. McPherson finished as a top 5 kicker in the NFL and was the AFC Special Teams Player of the Month at one point. He's clutch, has a powerful leg, accurate, part of a great offense, and is only 22 years old. The future is bright for McPherson. And number one, Jamar Chase. Ah, the most satisfying prediction of them all. Chase was ridiculed in preseason for his drop passes and his questionable reasoning behind his drops. And through all of it, we predicted him to be a top 10 receiver this season. It just made perfect sense. Has his college quarterback throwing him the ball, quarterback is a number one pick, Chase had the talent of a top five pick, it just all added up. Chase set numerous rookie and franchise records this year. We got a lot of crap, but we stuck with it. Bottom line, don't criticize anyone's predictions until it actually does or does not happen. Keep an open mind, because you never know where it can lead you. Who are some players that you predicted to go off and they did? Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel for more lists. Also, follow us on social media, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.